10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, yeah! That was fun! Oh, I love counting down the new year! I know. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait to do it again. Why wait? 31,556,952! 30, 31,556,951! 31,556,950! I'm making drum noises. Oh All right. boy. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and welcome to the very last so-and-so show. <sighs> this year! <laughs> hey, but don't worry, we'll be back next year, which is actually only in a few more hours. Yeah, how do you ring in the new year? Literally. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you got any traditions? Yeah, I, I tend to look back over the previous year to celebrate the highs and learn from the lows and choose to be grateful for another year of life. Wow, that's better than bells. It really is. Mm. You know, the only thing I don't like about a new year is Christmas is over. I mean, with you know all the anticipation, waiting for it, and then before you know it, poof, it's gone. Yeah, that is a bummer. Yeah. But I do happen to know a trick that might help. Oh, what's that? Reflection. Reflection? Yeah, looking back at Christmas's past. Oh, cool. How do you do that? Well, when I want to reflect back on something, I put my elbow on the desk like this. Okay. Yep. And like then, this? Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I bend my arm at the elbow. Okay. And place my hand up at a 90 degree angle. Mm -hmm. Then I place my chin in my hand. Uh-huh. Okay. And I look to my right and stare off into the distance wistfully. Gotcha. Mm hmm and then I say something like, remember last Christmas? Then what happens? Oh, uh, then uh, you see a lot of wavy lines. Like, like yeah, yeah, you Ooh. see the wavy lines? Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? mm. Wow, that is awesome. Hey, do it again. Oh, okay, okay. Remember Christmas of 2018? Wavy lines! <sighs> okay. <laughs> Ow! I, I, I totally forgot about that. Right? Okay. Oh, I want to try. Go for it. Okay, <clears throat> let's go to Christmas 2019. Wait, no. Wavy lines! Okay, I wanna try. Okay, go okay. for it. Let's go to Christmas 2019. Wait, no! Wavy lines! Okay, I wanna try. Uh, go for it. Let's go to Christmas 2019. Wait, no! What? We were just stuck in a time loop. That's why I was having deja vu. Yeah, you were looking to your left. Uh -huh. you, you have to look to your right. Oh. Look to the well. right for the past, look to the left for the future. We, we canceled each other out and just kept repeating the same moment uh. over and over again. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me we can look and see the future? Yeah, theoretically. Have you ever tried it? <laughs> Let's do it, let's go to uh, Christmas of next year. Okay, in three. One, two, three. There you go, buddy. And here you go also, buddy. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! New headphones? Whoa. A signed picture of you. Wow, thanks so much. Yeah, that's the gift that keeps on giving. Whoa! 
<laughs> wow. I'm glad to know that I'm still generous in the future. Yeah. Hey, let's go even further. Okay. Okay. Let's go to 2053. <laughs> okay. Here you go, buddy. And here you go, too. Oh. Still, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. A molecular teleportation device. Wow. A signed picture of you. Again. Well, I know how much you like to collect them. Uh huh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh. Um, hey. When did I tell you that I wanted autographed pictures of you? Oh, I don't know, but the look on your face was the only gift I needed. I'll have to remember that. Yeah. You know what I really love, though? How much I spend on your gifts? No! The fact that we're always hanging out on Christmas, that our friendship lasts that long. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah. I just wish Christmas wasn't only one day a year. Mm. I mean, think of how many pictures you'd have of me then. Oh, hey, speaking of gifts, I think we should check in with our other friend. All right. Yeah. It's Bible story time! Hello, what is up? What is up? Ah, uh, just thinking about Christmas's past and future. Oh, yeah? Yeah, pl plus we love Christmas. We wish it wasn't just once a year. Yeah. Once a year? Oh. Fellas, have I got a story for you. From the Bible? Of course. I know, I know. Let's hear it. Come on, come on. Okay, today's story can be found in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. This takes place after Jesus was born and news about him started to spread around. See, when Jesus was born, a star appeared in the sky and some wise men saw it. Ooh. Ah. And they knew a king had been born. So they decided to go find him. Well, are you guys with me? We sure are. Let's go. Now, the Bible says the wise men were from the east, and a lot of smart folks think that they were really far away from where Jesus was. Also, we don't really know how many wise men there were, so we'll go with the traditional three. These wise men set out on a journey, and it took a long, what an incredible yeah, day. It really is. Can't what a, what a even. walk. Long. Wow. How long have we been walking? A long time. Oh, we can do it. Long. The star keeps moving. We'll never get there. Maybe this wasn't so wise. Long time. Yeah, but eventually they made it to Jerusalem. Now the king of Judea lived in Jerusalem. His name was Herod. <laughs> I'm King Herod. I'm the best king, the only king. And don't you forget it. Herod was not the nicest guy. He loved being in charge. So when he heard the rumor that some wise men from the East had arrived looking for a new king that had been born. There's no way this could be true. A new king? Bah, I'm the king. I'm the king. He started to worry and he called his advisors for help. Advisors! You called for us, O oh king? Yes. I've heard a rumor that the king of the Jews, the promised Messiah, was going to be born. Mm, where perchance may I find this menace? I mean, baby king. Well, that's easy. The prophet Micah told us. He will be born in Judea. In the town of Bethlehem. <laughs> Thank you! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Watch out, baby king! I mean, thank you! You are excused. Bye. The advisors were right. The prophet Micah had this to say about the Messiah. But you, Bethlehem, and the land of Judah are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people, Israel like a shepherd. When Herod heard this, he called the wise men in for a secret meeting. You called for us, King Herod? 
Gentlemen, welcome. So, I heard that you saw a star that rose into the sky and is pointing you to the king of the Jews. Is that correct? Yes. Well then, why not continue your journey? I would like you to continue to follow this star and find this <coughs> king. <coughs> And then let me know where he is so I can get rid of. Uh, I mean, pay my respects. Sure thing. <laughs> Success. So the wise men continued on as King Herod requested. They followed the star. Is the star still moving? Yep. You sure? Uh-huh. Why? Because we're not there yet. Where is there? wherever the star stops moving. The star finally stopped directly over a house. And when they got to the house, there they saw a young Jesus with his mother Mary. They presented gifts to him, gifts fit for a king, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And they bowed down and worshiped the child who would grow up to be the savior of the world. Oh, and as for King Herod, <laughs> God spoke to the wise men in a dream and warned them not to go back to Herod because he was planning something bad. Hmm. The end. So what'd you think, fellas? Wow. The commitment from the wise men was impressive. I'll say. And they did this because of a star? I don't know how they knew, but the star was a sign that someone amazing had been born. Some experts think it may have taken these wise men over a year of traveling to get to Jerusalem but it was worth all that time and effort to meet Jesus, God's own son. It's almost like they were celebrating for an entire year. That's a fun way of thinking about it. Huh. Hey, thanks for the story. Anytime. Yeah, that's amazing. The wise men could hardly wait to see Jesus. I know, they had a lot to look forward to when that star appeared, which gives me an idea. Lasagna? No, reveal the question. <laughs> What are you looking forward to in the new year? Mm. Oh, well, after all this Christmas talk, definitely Christmas next year. Yeah, I'm kind of there with you, yeah. but I was thinking, why not celebrate Christmas year round? Why do it on just one day? Yeah, 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 we can celebrate the love of Jesus every day. Yeah. Well, go ahead and talk about it yourselves. Huh. What are you looking forward to in the new year? Yeah, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And, and Happy, Happy New, new year, year from, from the So and So Show! <laughs> Horn! Horn! 31,556,106 I got you 31,556,102 31,556,100. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> will, will the next year come if we don't, if we stop?